Uh, Yerba Santa, Y-E-R-B-A, and then different word, S-A-N-T-A. In Spanish, it means holy herb, okay? <clears throat> holy herb? Holy herb, yeah. This is a, a very typical, not only chaparral plant, but it'll grow all the way up, it grows real high in elevation, uh, up to about, I've seen it growing over 7,000 feet. Um, and it grows in San Bernardino too. <clears throat> this was scraped last spring, and, uh, or no, it was last fall, so almost a year ago. So this has grown up. Uh, when, they, when you get a, flyer, a fire through an area like this, there's a lot of the chaparral plant community are stump sprouters. In other words, they can, you can burn the foliage completely down to the ground, and it will stump, uh, sprout from the stumps later. And that's what this is, because we actually cut all this stuff off, and this is all volunteers from the roots, the root systems that were left. <clears throat> so there's uh, the Indians would use this to help allevi alleviate thirst, and they would just take a leaf like this and uh, put it in their mouth between their cheek and gum and suck on it, and it makes you salivate. And it tastes, you know, it tastes pretty good. Um, the uh, one of the best uses, the medicinal uses for this, is for congestion and stuff. Uh, you can take about three to five leaves, stick them in a, in a cup of hot water, and let it steep for, you know, three to five minutes maybe, and then drink it. And it tastes really good. It's very good tasting. And about 15, 20 minutes later, you'll be, you won't have any congestion. <clears throat> the only problem is, Huh? No, this is 29. Okay, it works so good that if you overdo it, you'll get a bloody nose. It'll dry you out completely, you know? So, I mean, so you just kind of be careful with it. But, or just don't even, you know, maybe dilute the tea down if you want. You know, don't think it's so strong. But it is actually a very good tasting tea. <clears throat> I was preparing for one of my classes similar to this. Uh, probably 20 years ago, and I was see seeing some people in Cajon Pass with bags and clippers, and they were clipping the leaves. And I asked, "What are you guys doing?" And they said, "Well, there's a guy over there that's paying us three dollars a pound or something like that I don't know, for <clears throat> for the leaves." And I said, "Well, where is he?" And they, so they told me, and I went and talked to him. And <clears throat> he's a guy that, um, which happens a lot. Uh, thought he knew a lot about plants and stuff, and, and he didn't really. But um, another guy came to him and said he, kn he knows that this plant grows all over the San Bernardino Mountains and the San Gabriel too. And he said, uh, I need 40,000 pounds of those leaves. And he said, can you collect them? And the guy said, sure, you know, I'll find pickers, you know. And uh, so he, he was collecting and drying 40,000 pounds of these leaves that were going to send them to Germany and then make cough, cough drops and cough syrup and cough medicine out of it. <clears throat> so, um, and, but the reason he didn't know uh, a lot about plants is uh, he was telling me about the coffee berry that was growing on his property. And he, there's coffee berry that grew there, but he misidentified it. He was, calling coffee berry, which is actually holly leaf cherry. And uh, he said, yeah, you would, you know, collect the nuts and crack them and then grind them up and use them for as a coffee substitute, which you can with coffee berry. But holly leaf cherry has got cyanide in it, you know? <clears throat> so it's very, not a whole bunch, and as long as you don't drink tons of it, it probably won't kill you, but, you know, so I, then I knew that the guy, you know, he wasn't the brightest bulb in the tree, but, <laughs> yeah, yeah, maybe. Yeah, he's in the last phases, you know. Bernie, what you call the common name for this again? Yerba what? Yerba Santa. Yeah.